Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss anti-cancer drugs, which is another important topic of molecular biology. Now, there are two types of anti-cancer drug. One, those are inhibitors of purinucleotide synthesis, and the second, those are inhibitor of primitive nucleotide synthesis. We are, we will see example of each category, and we will describe these anti-cancer drugs under three headings. First one is structure. Second one is their mechanism of action, and the third one is we will see their uses. Fine. So let's start. So first we will see examples of anti-cancer drugs which are purine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor. So first example is methotrexate and aminopterin. So the structure of methotrexate and aminopterin. So this methotrexate and aminopterin both are analog of folic acid. Fine. And mechanism of action of this methotrexate and aminopterin is this both drug will act as a competitive inhibitor of one enzyme which is known as a dihydrofolate reductase. Now this dihydrofolate reductase is the enzyme which is required for the conversion of dihydrofolate into the tetrahydrofolate. Remember tetrahydrofolate is the active form of folic acid. So by blocking the synthesis of tetrahydrofolate what will happen? So this drugs will inhibit the particular steps in the purine nucleotide synthesis which require folic acid and this steps are catalyzed by these two enzymes that is glycinamide ribonucleotide transformylase and amino amidazole carboxymide ribonucleotide transformylase so by this means it will inhibit the purine nucleotides now we will see the what are the uses of this methotrexate and aminopterin so this methotrexate and aminopterin, they are used in the treatment of cancers such as leukemia and choriocarcinoma. So that is the first example of purine nucleotide synthesis inhibitors. Now we will see second example. So the second example of purine nucleotide synthesis inhibitors are 6 mercaptopurine and as the name suggests, this 6 mercaptopurine, they are the purine analog structure analog of purine bases. Now what is the mechanism of action? So this 6 mercaptopurine is getting converted to the 6 thioinosine monophosphate by HGPRTase enzyme. HGPRTase is basically hypoxanthine guanine phosphoriboside transferase enzyme. It is the important enzyme for the salvage pathway. Now this particular reaction is very lethal reaction. How? So this 6 thioinosine monophosphate which is synthesized at the end of this reaction will inhibit the conversion of IMP that is inosine monophosphate to adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate by suicidal inhibition. Remember IMP that is inosine monophosphate is the first pure nucleotide which is synthesized in a de novo synthesis pathway. Fine. Apart from this, this 6 thioinosine monophosphate also feedbackly inhibit the glutamine PRPP amidotransferase. Glutamine PRPP amidotransferase is the rate limiting enzyme of de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide. Now what are the uses of this 6 mercaptopurine? It is used as an anti-cancer drug. So that is the second example of purine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor. Now third example. Third example is the thioguanine. As the name suggests, thioguanine is the guanine analog. Now, what are the function of what is the mechanism of action of this thioguanine? So thioguanine is converted to the 6 thioguanosine monophosphate by the HGPRTS enzyme that is hypoxanthine guanine phosphoriboside transferase. And what this 6 thio GMP will do? This 6 thio GMP will inhibit the conversion of IMP to GMP. Fine. So IMP will not get converted to the GMP that is guanosine monophosphate. And it will also inhibit the glutamine PRPP amidotransferase. And what are the uses of thioguanine? Again, it is used as an anti-cancer drug. Fourth example is azacerin. Azacerin is the structural analog of glutamine. Remember, this azacerin is the structural analog of glutamine. Fine. And what is the mechanism of action of azacerin? Azacerin will act as a glutamine antagonist. Fine. It will act as a glutamine antagonist. So basically, azacerin will inhibit the enzyme which require glutamine. Fine. Azacerin will inhibit the enzymes of purine and pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis which require glutamine as a substrate. And those enzymes are 
Glutamine PRPP amido transferase, which is a rate limiting enzyme of adenosine synthesis of pure nucleotide, and formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide amido transferase. That is the second, uh, that is the another enzyme of adenosine synthesis of pure nucleotide. And what are the uses of this drug, ezacerin? Ezacerin is highly toxic to the cells. That's why it is not used as a drug for the clinical use. Fine. So these are the examples of Dino synthesis. These are the examples of pure nucleotide synthesis inhibitor. Now we will see pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor. The first example of anti-cancer drug which are acting as a pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor are methotrexate and aminopterin. So as we have already discussed, this methotrexate and aminopterin they are the folic acid analogs and they will competitively inhibit the dihydrofolodeductase enzyme thereby they will inhibit the conversion of dihydrofolate into the tetrahydrofolate so there will be no synthesis of tetrahydrofolate which is the active form of folic acid so this is the figure which shows the mechanism of action of this methotrexate and aminopterin as a pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor. So in the pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis, deoxyuridine monophosphate is getting converted to the deoxythymidine monophosphate via thymidylate synthase enzyme. And during this reaction, there is a conversion of tetrahydrofolate into the dihydrofolate. Now this dihydrofolate is converted into the tetrahydrofolate via dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, but this dihydrofolate reductase enzyme is inhibited by methotrexate and eukaryotide cells. So there will be no regeneration of tetrahydrofolate, so there will be no conversion of this deoxyuridine monophosphate into the deoxythymidine monophosphate. Fine. So basically, basically there will be impaired synthesis of deoxy in monophosphate which will result in a defective DNA synthesis. So that is the first example of pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis inhibitor which is acting as an anti-cancer drug. Second example is 5-fluorouracil. As the name suggests 5-fluorouracil, it is the structural analog of uridine. Fine, it is the structural analog of uridine. What is the mechanism of action of this 5-fluorouracil? So this 5-fluorouracil is getting converted to the 5-fluorodeoxyuridylate. Fine. 5-fluorouracil will get converted to the 5-fluorodeoxyuridylate. And what it will do? This 5-fluorodeoxyuridylate will inhibit the thymidylate synthase enzyme via suicidal inhibition. And remember, what is the function of this thymidylate synthase enzyme? It converts deoxyuridine monophosphate into the deoxythymidine monophosphate. So this particular step will be inhibited. Now, what is the uses of 5-fluorouracil? So, 5-fluorouracil is used in the treatment of various cancers such as colorectal, gastric and uterine cancers. So, that is all about anti-cancer drugs. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.